Hey, how's it going, everybody? Welcome back. So today what I thought I would do is just hit record while I'm drawing a character of mine for a webcomic that I'm going to start in 2013. Um, and the title of the comic is called Squirrel God. And uh, if you want, you can go to... There's a placeholder website I got going right now called squirrelgod.com. There'll be a link in the underbar as well. Um... Uh, I'm going to get into the story of him and the character and the story and the story and the story and all that stuff uh, soon. Um, but I just wanted to talk really quickly about how it's going to be formatted. And I've gotten quite a bit of emails from you guys and girls out there. I'm kind of wondering about like, okay, it's cool that we're doing these videos, you know, this tutorial stuff, this walkthrough stuff. Like, yeah, cool. It's like a mega studio right now. And, you know, I haven't done it in a while, but we used to start on this channel and stuff with like how to draw, you know, and I know a lot of you guys and girls out there still want those videos. I plan on getting around to them as soon as I can. But lately I've been getting a lot of questions from you guys about like how to make comics. You know, it's not just about drawing in style and anatomy and perspective and software, but it's literally about how to draw comics. Um, so I, I plan on tackling that as well. And we're talking like pacing, we're talking story structure and stuff, but what some of you guys have been asking me is something I've been thinking about doing for a little while now, but that's literally this is the, the not only the thought process, but the, the steps it, it takes to actually make a comic book. So what I wanted to do was kind of document the entire process, uh, literally from idea right till actually publishing a web comic, and then even making some videos after the fact, kind of talking about, okay, now that the comic is up and it's out there, what am I doing to maybe help promote uh, interviews? Just all kinds of things that you might be thinking about if you want to make your own webcomic. And I figure, you know, if, if, I'm, if I'm interested in it, got to be somebody else out there that's interested. And like I said, you guys have been sending me some emails. Um, I don't want to say concerns or anything, but just kind of asking, you know, like, hey, would you mind just kind of documenting like a, a little video diary kind of thing of it? And if you go back into... Um, the other uh, videos that I had made earlier last year, there was, I think it was The Mighty Mustache, was actually a comic that I was going to do. And uh, that character kind of turned into Jessup King that I talk a lot about, and you guys have seen the videos of that. Um, but that didn't really go anywhere because there's a lot of things that were going on uh, work-wise and stuff. Um, uh, comic book-related work, anyway. And uh, anyway, but this here, um, I don't know, the, the story kind of sold itself to me with this character, and he looks unique, he looks kind of cute, uh, you know, I'm a big fan of squirrels, <laughs> but we'll get into that in the, in the future videos, but um, literally what I'm going to do is the next video, or I'm going to release like a little, um, how do I want to word this, like a, a playlist I suppose, where you can just go through it, and we're just going to upload it like vlog style, um, screen recordings and stuff, just kind of talking about like what I'm thinking about during the project, how the project's coming along, maybe do like uh, one every two weeks or one every month, or when I'm doing content and stuff. And before jumping right into that, what I wanted to do was just kind of introduce you guys and girls out there to the character uh, right here. I'm still coming up with a name for him. The book, like I said, is called Squirrel God. That's not this character's name. That's just the name of the book. Um, and I'll, uh, you know, I'll share the story with you guys and kind of like how I'm working out the plots and uh, you know all the stuff that comes with literally making a comic. Um, right from I'll show you guys the thumbnails. I don't know how much of the story I'm going to show you guys because I think it'd be interesting to have you guys and girls out there actually read the book as it comes out and gets published online. Uh, and then where we go from there, who knows, you know? But it should be a pretty good le learning experience. So I'm pretty excited to get into that. And also, it's like a double motivator. You know, it's if I'm showing people the process as it's coming along. You know, I need to make the content for you guys, um, or else, you know, it just sounds like I can't follow through with it, and that's not something we want to do. Um, so I figured what I would do is just kind of do like a pinup style here of the character, um, just kind of show his face and stuff. If you guys are following me on Facebook, I've been posting quite a bit of uh, the, the Squirrel God stuff, um, probably, I'd say probably for about a week and a half now, maybe two weeks, and it literally just started with kind of drawing, like like I told you in the beginning, I'm kind of a fan of squirrels, and I've, you know, I've wanted to tell like a story with squirrels involved somehow, and um, there was a, a picture I did a while ago of this guy kind of dressed up as a squirrel jumping through trees, and it had a lot of motion lines and stuff, and it was pretty cool, but it was missing something, you know, it was just something I wanted to draw for fun, um, and then I started playing around in my mind about like story ideas and stuff like that, and then I started to draw like this, like a, I guess a magical cosmic acorn. And that's kind of the catalyst of the story. Um, and again, I'll talk about all that stuff. Uh, I don't want to overhype it or sell it to you guys, but uh, just things we will talk about. But anyway, so here's the character here. Uh, he, I want him always looking kind of goofy. Uh, he's got little lips, kind of like a squirrel. Uh, he's kind of like a gray kind of squirrel. If you guys follow me on DeviantArt, or just click it in the link below. Or again, if you guys want to follow me on Facebook, that's cool too. You guys can see the pictures I'm talking about. But I will release a video showing those pictures because I know not everybody 
wants to be on Facebook and not everybody's on DeviantArt and, you know, people want to see what's going on. But, uh, so in this video here, it's just going to be the tight line art and then I'm going to do the, or I'm going to do in the next video will probably be just the final inks and probably the colors as well. I don't want to get like two or three videos going here. Um, I'm just trying to hammer this drawing out really quickly to make this video as well. Uh, but before I have to go to the day job, I figured, you know, it's been a little bit since we did an actual drawing video here on the Yub Tubs. So I figured, what the hell, let's get there. And I want to say, too, thank you guys so much. Uh, I'm almost at about 3,000 subscribers, which is insane. Um, so thank you so much for subscribing. And if you're watching right now and you haven't subscribed, um, maybe you might want to go back to some of the other videos I've done and see if there's anything there that tickles your fancy. And if, if there is, uh, you know, just click subscribe. And if you want to share and like the video, that's awesome sauce, too. And we're running out of time here. We're almost done the video. So like I said, uh, I'm not going to be going into the rendering and the, the coloring and all that shading just yet. Just kind of working on the tight line art. Um, there's his eyes. Now what I find like with the character, once the eyes are thrown in there with the black, it kind of starts to sell itself like a squirrel. <laughs> I'm still not happy with the shape of the head. It looks kind of squished. Um... And I honestly don't know if I'll go back and fix it because right now I'm still in, like when I talk in the videos, you guys will hear me talk a little bit more about I'm still working on the concepts. But anyway, we'll talk soon. Keep reading comics. Keep making comics. We'll talk soon.